I'm Mr. Ibrahim Makoga from Educare Tanzania and uh, I'm teaching chemistry form 4. Today we are proceeding with our topic which is pollution and we have already covered the concept of pollution, what is pollution and we have covered about uh, land pollution. Today let's continue with another subtopic that is water pollution. Let's see what is water pollution. As you have said that pollution is the introduction of harmful substances to the environment which cause either physical, chemical or biological change to the environment. So when you say water pollution, it means that is the introduction of substances that lowers the quality of water into water. So is the introduction of those substances that are not safe to water, which cause the reduction of water quality and making water to be unsafe for use or for habitat of aquatic organisms. Let's see the sources of water pollution. What are the sources? There are two major categories of sources of water. They categorize as a point source and a non point source. So, kuna vyanzo viwili vya uchafuzi wa maji. Kuna inta point source na non point source. Let us see what is point source and what is the non point source. When you say about the point source, point sources are the source that release harmful substances directly into water body. So, this point source release substances that are not safe into water directly. Example is oil spills directly into water bodies. Uh, when you introduce any liquid directly into uh, into water body. This is a pointy source. Example, water that is introduced directly into water source, into, either into oceans, into eh, lakes, directly from industries. That are called the point source. Ko point source ni kile chanzo ambacho kinajulikana moja kwa moja kwamba hiki ndicho moja kwa moja kinaelekeza maji machafu yale au viminika vyote vichafu moja kwa moja vina elekezo kwenye vyanzo vya maji. Hiyo ndo point source. Another is the release of industrial effluent liquid waste or sewage discharged into water body. Iti tuwe mshaki zungumzia. Kwa mba yale vile viminika vyote ambavyo vinatoka kwenye viwanda moja kwa moja kwa mfano ndio unakuta kwamba kuna mabomba kabisa yametoka viwandani kule yale maji machafu yote yanayotoka kwenye viwanda kule wameoshea nini sui kazi ambazo ni liquid zote tunakuta kuna mapaipu ambayo moja kwa moja yameelekezwa baharini aidha yameelekezwa kwenye mabwao aidha yameelekezwa kwenye mito moja kwa moja kabisa hiyo ndio ni point source but now the point source now the point source are those that release harmful substances indirectly into water body for example fertilizers from field carried into stream by surface runoff also pesticide applied to crops and certain animals drip into stream by surface runoff hasa these nine point source are not directly known they are, they are not known directly so example fertilizers fertilizers applied in farms those fertilizers cannot move directly into water bodies and you cannot know if the fertilizers are causing water pollution but this cause water pollution at uh, the time when rain it rained and the, those fertilizers are carried from farms and the, directed into streams of water either or rivers or oceans and the others so it is not directly uh, uh, directly to water bodies but it is indirect 
Also, sometimes, also pesticide, pesticide from crops can be directed, can be uh, introduced to water bodies after rain. It is rain and wash out those pesticide and direct it to water bodies. Kwa hivi ni vyanzo mbavyo havipeleki moja, moja kwa moja mchafu kwenye nini? Kwenye maji. Kwa mfano mbolea zile pale meomeka mashambani. Zile mbolea zile meomeka mashambani. Zile zikaenda balini au kwenye vyanzo vya maji. Pale tu ambapo pengine mvua itanyesha kubwa. Itakapanyesha mvua kubwa ile pale. Ina somba na mbolea zote na uchafu wote ambapo kwenye mashamba inapeleka wapi? Kwenye vyanzo vya maji. Pia wakati mgine hata uchafu wa nini? wa majumbani ule pale majumbani huko ameacha mauchafu nje barabarani wapi mvua ikinyesha inasomba kila uchafu kila uchafu unapeleka uchafu ambao nani point source hapa hauwezi kujua kwamba huu uchafu umecontain vitu gani hauwezi kujua kama umecontain mbolea peke yake kwa sababu umebeba vitu vingi vingi umebeba kwenye shamba ili umebeba kwenye shamba umebeba barabarani wapi hauwezi kueleweka lakini ile pale point source hii point source inakuwa inajulikana kabisa. Kwa hivyo unajua kabisa eh hivi hivi huu uchafu umetoka wapi? Haya maji maji yametoka kwenye kiwanda. Kwa unajua kabisa ah kama ni kwenye kiwanda, hii uchafu inabidi uwe treated labda kwa kutumia kemikali fulani ili kupunguza sasa u kupunguza madhara yanayotokana na nini na hayo maji ambayo yametoka viwandani. Lakini hapa nani point source huzo kujua ni nini ambacho kimekuwa contained kwenye nini? Kwenye uchafu. So it is difficult to control nani point source but you can control easily the point source because you know it but not the non point source because non point source take out uh, pollutant from different areas after then let us see the cause of water pollution the following are the some main causes of water pollution so we have seen the sources of water pollution and now Let's see the causes of water pollution. There is pesticides, there is fertilizers from farms, there is oil spills. Also there is mining activities, industrial processes, marine debris, poisonous gases and metals, heat, noises, sediment and sewage. So let's see how they pollute water. Pesticides, the pesticides from animals drip into soil when carried into local stream and rivers by surface runoff or drain down into groundwater. This contaminates water affecting living organisms in the water and make them unsafe for drink. So, when this first uh, pesticide from animal drip are carried into streams of water, either rivers or lakes or other streams that direct uh, that are carrying water. This goes to contaminate water and making water unsafe for use, either for use of human, either for use of those living organisms that live on water. So it makes the water to be poisonous. Kwa hiyo unakuta viumbe vile ambao wanaishi baharini wanaoishi kwenye maji watashindwa kupata makazi yao vizuri au watashindwa kuishi vizuri kwa usalama kwa sababu tayari hizo pesticides zimeshaingia na kemikali fulani ambayo inawafanya wakafanyaje wakashindwa kuishi vizuri. Also fertilizers. Fertilizers as we've said that fertilizers in farms can be carried out when uh, rainwater flushes out fertilizers from farms to water bodies. These fertilizers contain different nutrients for uh, different plants to grow. So, this nutrient like nitrate and the phosphate, when carried into local streams, rivers, by surface runoff, or drain into groundwater, uh, this causing the water bodies to be covered with some plants that can grow into the water bodies and causing 
uh, those animals living below water to to lack light for searching of food or for movement from one place to another or sometimes uh, contain the places of oxygen in water because those plants can take out or can absorb oxygen that can be used for this organism. We say note that this excess level of nitrogen causes excessive growth of aquatic plants and algae. This situation called eutrophication. So places of fertilizers in farms are uh, led to situation called eutrophication. Eutrophication this blocks uh, waterways and blocks light in the deeper water. So eutrophication is the process by which water, uh, aquatic plants or, and algae are developed or are growing on the top of water bodies and causing the uh, the light to be blocked to enter at the deeper water. So those organisms at the at the water they lack what light. When aquatic plants and algae die, also they use up dissolved oxygen as they decompose, which lower the amount of oxygen for aquatic organisms. Because a bit of you be all of anyama, what ill me me amba me water, but I always algae amba me water. But that is the extra kufa is not fun. It's not for decompose. Process of decomposition is taking any oxygen. So we decompose in a consume oxygen. If the oxygen is not consumed, in a particular case, so pump up full amount of oxygen, quite the aquatic organism all around it. Quite the name, quite the area of the uh, area of dead aquatic plants and algae is called dead zones. Ko ile ene wambalo zile alga zime kufa mime ya ya kwenye maji me kufa pali ile area entani ni dead zone. And nitrogen pollution is a part, is a particular problem in estuaries and deltas where water sheds damply at the mouth of major rivers. <coughs> He nitrogen pollution, the problem sana na katika na ndeka makuwe deltas abapo water ah uh, inakuwa ni damp di ati mouth of major rivers kwamba inakuwa do inaingia sasa kwenye pengine mto pale na kuona gani kwa kuingia kwenye bahari ya au kwenye mto mkubwa au kwenye nini so pale na kuna sasa i nitrogen pollution do inakuwa ni kubwa sana kwa sababu ule uchafu wote ule toka uko unaanzia pale kuingilia kwenye ile pale sema boy na ganyikia sema boy ule mtu sasa ndo anaingiza maji kwenye ah uh, either kwenye baadhi aweza kwenye maziwa kwa unakuta sema ile pale ndo inakuwa ina nini ina high concentration of nutrient after then uh, this fertilizers another is oily spills oily spills in the water bodies from land based petroleum vehicles cause major water pollution spill for a thin layer of oil on surface water which prevent gas exchange between water and the atmosphere so <coughs> this oil spills either from petroleum or from vehicles or from industries those oil since they cannot mix with water so they tend to float on the top of water bodies when they cover the top of the uh, the surface of water they tend to minimize the exchange the, the chance of exchange of gases between water bodies and the atmosphere so making uh, suffocations for aquatic organisms to obtain oxygen well or to exchange those gases for survival ko yale mafuta mafuta yale ambayo unakuta yamekaa kwenye maji yanasababisha sasa pale kwa kuna ugumu wa ku but mbadilishano wa nini wa hewa safi na hewa chafu kuingia kwenye maji na kufanyaje na kutoa mining mining causes water pollution in number ways includes buried of heavy metal and sulfur in the earth which later leaches also the action of rain water on the piles of mining waste trade uh, mining process or mining activities lead to to water pollution as in the either those buried heavy metals 
or sulfur when washing those mines. So we, we know that mines contains many, many metals like and many metals like sulfurs. Eh? Sometimes they there are containers of heavy metals that are dangerous to organisms like mercury. Hmm? Also, the abandoned mine when water from rain uh, fall there and they wash out those particles from water uh, from mining areas and they direct it into water, cause the water to be polluted. We see those heavy metals and the sulfur component that are in that area. Also, these also pile of cyanide from gold extraction. Eh? If a dam of mining waste leaks or burst, cause the flow of uh, water from these areas to water bodies. Also, dump mining waste direct into rivers. This also causes the water to be polluted. Another is industrial process. When the water used for production process, discharge into where body tend to cause water pollution since may contain chemical substances which harm aquatic life. As we've said that <coughs> industrial process as a uh, among of process that cause water pollution. Example, water sewage water or the water that is or liquid that is discharged from uh, from industries like hot water and containing chemicals and other influent from industries. When they are directed to water bodies, they pollute more the water bodies and harm the habitat for aquatic organisms and they make water to be unsafe for use even for human beings. Another is heat. Heat is caused by global warming and discharge of heat water by factories and the power plant. Increases water temperature lizard to the days of many aquatic organisms. Heat kwamba najua kabisa viumbe tunaishi kutokana na kiwango fulani cha joto. Kizidi kiwango fulani cha joto pale kiumbe hakiwezi ka survive katika joto ambalo limezidi kwenye ndani yake au lipo chini ya kiwango chake. Kwa hiyo katokea sasa kwa mfano maji yale ambayo yanatoka kwenye viwanda Unakuta maji ya nakuwa ni ya moto sana, nakuwa ni tojuzi kwenye viwanda, nakuwa ni nakuwa ni tojuzi kwenye maji. Kule nakuwa ni tojuzi kwenye maji, ya napekele maji sasa kuongezeka joto laki, baka kufikia kiwango ambacho wale viumbe bawa naishi lundani kushindo kufanyaje, 